Ace shows me around the production shop where the cut suits and their contents are manufactured. A lot of the parts that we build start right here with Michael. Mike. Like what? Michael specializes in creating the organs that go inside the cut suits. Do you work primarily with intestines and stomachs, or do you do all sorts uh, of things? Like? And skin as well. You're a skin guy? Mm -hmm. First job, inject some silicone into an intestine mold. Oh, no. I've got a leak here. No, that's OK. That's a good sign. Oh, that's OK. okay. okay good. That's OK. See, there we go. So it's coming out. Uh-huh. And it's going to continue down. I've never and... made an intestine before, Michael. <laughs> this is the kind of place where a leaky colon means you're doing it right. Is that an average amount of runoff? Uh, no. <laughs> that is above average. <laughs> Which is a nice way of saying below average. <laughs> Once filled, the mold is left to bake inside the giant oven. The parts will bake for four hours at 200 degrees Celsius. While in the oven, I help Michael wheel out something called the six-in-one. -in inside the six-in-one is the skin that envelops the cut suit. Ow! <laughs> I'm still not sure why they call it a six-in-one. So now we're just going to grab our pneumatic opener. All right. Did you just call that a pneumatic opener? Yes. It's great. Another tool I haven't uh, haven't seen before. The pneumatic opener is a custom tool designed to unlock the silicone molds. I can't decide if this is a big moment or a small moment. I mean, it could be a big moment. All right, we're going to push this gently forward. Perfect. There we go. This turns out to be a pretty small moment. All right. We have the front of our skin, and then we'll take out this this core. That falls forward. Yep. And there it is. So far, I've made a few vats of some very realistic blood with Ace, and now I'm cutting the very realistic skin from a torso, removed moments ago from a very realistic oven. People tuning in right now are gonna have a lot of questions. Now it's on to Emily, who actually runs the department, I think. Look at me walking like I know where I'm going. <laughs> Emily? Yes. Hello, Mike. Oh, well, where you're going, you're not gonna need gloves. Good, so. because these gloves have yeah. served their purpose. Are you in charge? I okay. am. Well, I'm in charge of the production department. Emily takes a hands-on approach to her work, or hands-in, to be precise. So here we have our cut suit vest. Mm -hmm. All of these organs go inside of it. This guy is going to go on the bottom. Kidneys, but you right. got to get this through this bottom hole here. This would be the aorta, probably? Yes, very good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit some That'll out. just help it slide easier. Well. There's nothing wrong with a little lubrication. So yep. does this protrusion go through as well? Yep, it goes oh, through. All of it. Yeah, it'll fit. All right. I don't know, man. Seems like a mighty big tube for a little tiny hole. <laughs> that heart's a mess. I know. That is a rough heart right there. Also, it's a liver. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Michael? You just make your skins. <laughs> Mind your business. Here's the heart. Here's the heart. It's this heart-shaped thing. This is it, yeah. Oh, oh. Be right about there. Right about there here. you go. There you go. Right there. Can you make a beat? No, but you know what this means. I have a heart on. <laughs> Can you say that? A heart on. Oh. What is the matter with you, I'm honestly? I'm scandalized. You're going to want this. And they're upside down. I know. OK. OK, you're testing me on that one. Shove them in there. If you spray more alcohol in there, it'll all slide in. I mean, nobody has ever said there's just too much lubrication. <laughs> now, this tube seems to be twisted up. Is this a problem? Uh, the tube should try to go through the top, which, oh, you got them flipped. How'd you do that? I've never seen that happen. Well, you know. That's impressive. I try and do new things. OK. Next, I would do this. Where do you think it goes? The liver? The that liver. goes down in this area. Hmm? Maybe a little higher. Yeah. Maybe right behind the kidney. Or maybe right in front of the kidney. Hey. That's where that goes. Now, that's a level of liver disease, though, that's. Oh, well, that's a bad day right that's there. A, that's an explosion. That yeah. got hit with some shrapnel. You don't survive. A, a liver Well, like fortunately, that? that's tough. the liver, you know, you can cut out a section and it'll, you know. Dear. They can't drink anymore, but. Well, what's the point? Yeah, what's the point? This is what you were helping Michael make. You yes, helped to make the this. That's right. Yeah. I'm just going to fix this. bringing literally minutes of experience to the task at hand. 
Steady as you go. <laughs> I'm gonna help you out here. Here we go. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at all right. that. All by yourself. Not really. You were right there, <laughs> Emily. Yeah, I can cut that out. <laughs> well, it's not that kind of show, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is your butthole right yeah. here, right? There you go. It's gotta be. So the colon. I mean, that's the anus. Yeah, or our butthole, as you so eloquently put it. Family show? Hard to know where to draw the line. Okay. Sometimes the technical terms are more horrifying than the colloquial. That's that's fair. So the turd cutter goes where? <laughs> I was <a> thing. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you got Tracy. Everybody laughs at turd cutter. <laughs> then the last step is the visceral lining, which kind of holds it all in place. Yep, locks in. Mm -hmm. And then once this is all built, so it goes on a person, and then we put a skin on top of it. Forceps. Just always wanted to do that. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to do anything with it. I was going to say, I wouldn't use that. It would tear. No. <laughs> do you want to put it on? Why not? The fruits of your labor. Now, pull that up, because we want your collarbone to be close to your actual collarbone. Uh-huh. There we go. Like, when you operate on a person, in a simulation, is is there a person wearing this thing? Yeah. The full, really? The full thing, and there's a there's a pelvis that can strap on. You have the skin over it. You get a lot more like educational benefit off of like putting a, a tourniquet on a real human. A mannequin just lies there, you know. Yeah. You see like a real human face oh. to what you're doing. It's a lot more real, a lot more beneficial of uh, training. I don't know if I'd hire you, but you didn't break anything, so we're good. Now you get to wear that the rest of the day. Okay. So you can just proceed on. Great. No. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, sure, Mike, it looks real, but what about the smell? Hey, guys. How are you? Hey. We've showed up with the smell. Are you the liquid ass guys? We're the liquid ass guys. <laughs> I first stumbled across liquid ass years ago, back when fart products held a certain appeal for me. I remember this stuff. I'm sure it doesn't affect oh you God. whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I backed him up. Oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> yep, it's all coming back to me. If you're not familiar with it, this is liquid ass. It's something you can buy. It's a uh, basically a fart prank. Yes, a and bad you, smell prank. You can tell that because it says fart prank right on the uh, on the thing. And so, Ace, you're you're actually making what we're Just gonna call the... A, yeah, so this is like fecal matter that you would find kind of scattered around in the abdomen when there's been a trauma. So that's the job right now, to get the synthetic poop into the synthetic intestine. At Strategic Operations, realism is the only thing that matters. And if you're going to cut into a body with leaking intestines, the smell of fecal matter is not left to the imagination. Oh. The smell has got to be real. And trust me... Oh, it's coming out less <laughs> already. Ah. It is. That's okay. I mean, that, that's what it would do, right? That's what it would do. So, through that hole, same thing. Go one direction. Like the band? Do you listen to them? No, I don't. No, I've never heard, I don't. <laughs> the secret ingredient in every ASSP, that would be ASS, liquid ass. What you can do with that is kind of prick into the intestines. I have the whole section right there laying out for you. This has got to be a big day for you guys. Oh, yeah. it's, yes, unbelievable. <laughs> Living the dream, selling ass for a living. So this is just as good as that. <laughs> but now you're past the prank stage, yeah. man. You're yeah. actually, this you know, is, you're actually helping save the, lives. It's the next yeah. level. And now I'm, I'm really wondering what's going to happen next.